Hi and welcome to another life lesson from an emotional awareness expert and today I'm going to talk about spirit animals and energy in the room. It has been I would say an interesting day but today would be the wrong day to call it an interesting day. It's been a very stressful day dealing with problems where nobody has the power to deal with something and it's a challenge to do with a noise complaint supporting my daughter and it's been going on for 14 months and not one organization across the county seems to have the power to do anything about it so what has that got to do with spirit animals well oops, there's someone there um one of the things that very often comes up in personal development courses is about what is your inner animal or your spirit animal and I think everybody associates themselves with some kind of creature as in it relates to your personality. And for everybody, it's slightly different. For me, it's a wolf. And if I'm going to be more specific, it is a mother wolf. And it very much relates to why I do what I do as an emotional awareness expert. Is for me, the mother wolf represents a creature that is in touch with nature it's part of a pack it is calm the mother wolf watches she stays center of the children when the pups are playing and she nurtures she teaches and for me that very much fits the personality that i was raising my children when i supported them through home education when things weren't working out at school um you know feeding them caring them teaching them nurturing them watching them grow and to me i very much felt like the eyes of the mother wolf watching my children and when things they're getting out of line is rounding them up and if anybody threatens my pack that's when the other side of the mother wolf comes out and so seeing my daughter going through some very difficult times for the last 14 months and trying to support her, finding again today that things were extremely difficult with this antisocial behaviour from a next door neighbour that is affecting the mental health of my daughter and two of my grandchildren, um, leaving her physically in pain from her ears today um, and the children affected so badly. I let out my inner wolf and i got on the phone today to the point that even the police hung up on me um but on the other hand because i study emotional awareness and i've worked on my emotional awareness for many years as well as developing a strategy to help teach my son to understand his emotions it meant that even though i was letting my inner wolf out I knew the purpose for doing it. I knew where that energy belonged and how to use it. And also when to back away and let it come down again. And another way to think of this is to understand about the power of the energy in a room. Now you imagine a funeral, for example, where everybody in the room is sad, they're grieving, right? And everybody's in equal energy within reason they're all they all match energies to fit the occasion and then somebody walks in the room dressed like a clown laughing and joking and whatever it's going to disrupt the energy of the room but in the wrong way and equally when people are at a party and they're all having fun and it's jolly and they're laughing and then somebody walks in the room looking like they've just had the most dramatic thing in the world happen to them and they're screaming and crying and yelling Oh, the light's gone out. Then, there we go. Then, again, it disrupts the energy of the room. So it's easy to bring down the energy of your party and easy to completely, inappropriately interrupt an energy of a lower event. And that's what I mean by when the dominant energy wins the room. Equally, when you've got a, people, a load of people who are calm and just getting along nicely and somebody walks in and they're controlling and overpowering, that energy dominates the room. So when you understand the types of energy related to the emotional cycle and each of the emotions, 
and you fully comprehend why emotions change and you have the power and the strategies and the resources to create the change you need when change is not happening automatically and sometimes you need to push energy into a place where nobody else is pushing a really powerful energy to create change that's when it's really powerful to let out for example me today my inner wolf <laughs> came out and yes it's an un pleasant feeling it wasn't a power feeling um it did bring up a lot of emotions i was aware of how i felt and at the same time was able to recognize and process those emotions as i had each of the conversations with different organizations today and again being able to come back to the nurturing wolf when i spoke to my children and grand or my, my daughter and grandchildren um and so it's been able to regulate the energy. The one thing we don't want to do is have an inner animal where we let that control us. So that is my life lesson today is about when you know your spirit animal or your inner animal is what does that mean in terms of your emotions? Which kind of emotion does it trigger bringing it out? For somebody else, it might be it's like a monkey and the monkey comes out when they're happy. Whereas for me, it's the nurturing that's there when I'm happy and calm but the other side of the wolf comes out when things are challenging or, or aggravating my family and I'm very protective over my family which is again why I do what I do emotional awareness expert so that I can support my family in understanding their emotions so I'm going to leave it there for today but I would love to hear from you pop in the chat what your inner animal is and um, what it means to you what kind of emotional state you're in when that is triggered or comes out and is it something you are able to control or is it something you find controls you when you least expect it? Because that's all part of learning about emotional awareness. If you want to learn more about emotional awareness and the emotional cycle, how this all relates, check out my website, kreeve.co.uk. There are some there's a free intro course on there and some the emotional cycle for beginners course. Um, you, that's £15 at the moment. So go and check them out. Um, there's books as well available on there and check out more of my life lessons from an emotional awareness expert. And don't forget, somebody else might really need to hear this information and it support them. So please do remember if, you, if you're not interested in the services, then please support me to support others with a like, a share, a comment, anything you can, all appreciated. So hugs and healing from me. Thank you for listening in. Bye bye.